we're going to have a quick poll. Is the future bright for private banking as services? As yes or no? Rahul? Yes, for those who adopt technology. Very bright. But you need to really shine the light on the technology bit. Okay. Yes, um, private banking and wealth management will be bright. Um, Asia as a region has overtaken Europe in terms of wealth. So we are in the right region. Uh, technically, we could overtake the US as the wealthiest region as well. So there will still be need for services, but the way it's delivered will be very different because habits has changed and technology has changed. Okay. I have to say it's bright, but let's, so, so, but let's just put some caveats on it. It's going to be desperate for the incumbent institutions um, where you put your money will change radically. Um, it is already changing. And um, I don't expect that the players that you see today will be the same. The major players of today are going to be the same ones in five or ten years. I think that um, the, the, in the industry is, is ready for transformation. And yes, it will go to those who are technologically adept. And um, the good news, I hope, though, is that more people can get services. And that's, that, that would be the nice, the best, yeah. nicest part of the yeah. message out of all this. Well, I think I think that will be true. I mean, uh, wealth is going to continue to grow across the globe, uh, and I think that we are right into an opportunity where uh, the cost of managing that wealth is going down rapidly, and the quality of that management is going up. So the incumbents, unless they embrace, are going to disappear. Um, but I think actually the good news is not necessarily for the private banks that are going to have to invest in all of this. I think the, great, the good news is for the end investor, mm -hmm. that the people that hold the wealth will have far more flexibility, far more access, far more information at, at a cheaper rate. So uh, I think the, the future is bright for, for anybody with, with, with money. Yeah, look, I, would, I would agree with that. And, and to your question, private banking or wealth management as a service, I, I think how you phrased it is very telling because maybe at the at the moment it is still private banking as a product. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really a service, right? It's a bit like they say the software as a service or even increasingly government as a service, right? I think even nation states will, since increasingly more people live in the cloud, and I think <laughs> Singapore has done that very well, government as a service, yeah. right? Yes. And I think that will translate, but I think many people still consider wealth management as a product, yeah. as a multi, nicely packaged product, but I think it will move. So hence the mindset will change from a product to a service, and, and maybe we're just at the beginning, but I think this might actually accelerate. Mm. And last but not least, Anna? I think for me, is that I, I think that the industry is face a, a big chain, a huge chain, where just those that are the best, they, they will remain. We are already seeing this, how there are mergers and acquisition, and then this disappears, so the rules of the games are changing, and this will be for sure good for the client. Mm -hmm. So we have six yeses. <laughs> well, I guess no surprise given the world. <laughs> <laughs>